it is your boy Drew Jeezy. This review is sponsored by 100 Clothing. If you guys can see, I'm rocking the merch as we speak. If you guys want to see this and the other items that I have, please check me out at Drew Jeezy Collectibles. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let us get this review on the road. Hello everybody, this is your boy Drew Jeezy and I am back when you guess another SH Figure Arts review. As you can see by the thumbnail and the title, we are doing a review today on Super Saiyan Trunks. The for the one that came back through time before he, of course he started training with Vegeta. This is the one with the sword. Before I start this video, I want to give a special shout out to Back Body Mystery. If you guys have not seen his latest video um, about um, Kane, please check it out. It was a two-part. He had a great narrator on there as well, so please check him out at Back Body Mystery. I will leave his name in the description below. But now we're talking about the SH Figure Art Super Saiyan Trunks. As you can see by the box, I love the way it looks. I love this SH Figure Art, especially the Dragon Ball ones. It looks pretty dope. I love the possibility. Um, the fact that he has both heads, the Super Saiyan head, and he has the, the standard head, the normal head. It turns to the side, you see the sword. And it spins around to the front, you see Trunks doing the Frieza, you know, when he julienne him up in the series. SH Figure Super Saiyan Trunks, you know what I'm saying? He's got all that good stuff, Bandai America. Uh, to, I can't pronounce that other uh, emblem, so don't don't shoot me. But uh, enough about that, man. I'm done talking about this box. We're going to get into this, into this figure, man. We're going to check out Trunks and all the details. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, you can see I have everything out on the table. But before we talk about the Super Saiyan Trunks, we're going to talk about all his accessories. So we're going to start from left to right, as you can see. We're going to start with these faces. You can change. Once again, this is pretty cool. Let me get that focus. Yeah, I like the, the mean look to the side. That's pretty cool. I like this expression face like he's doing the blast. So I do like that. So I will use that in some of the B-roll footage. So make sure you watch the B-roll footage, please. I greatly appreciate it. And then, you, of course, you got this one here. Uh, he's like super mad, super serious. So I do like this figure face itself. This uh, expression face, I'm sorry, this expression face. Then, of course, we have the other uh, hair. Look like, um, compared to the other one, like he's doing a blast and it kind of blows back. I won't know for sure. I'll kind of show you both. Then, of course, we have the regular sand. And I'm so glad that they did this. Oh, and I know this comes off. It looks like it does, but I probably won't take it off. Cause, oh, it does come off because you can change the face expression. So I do like the fact that he has his normal sand head in the standard form, his base form. And of course we have the little thing here, the buckle that goes across with a sword, which I will put on later in the B-roll footage. Of course we have the sword itself. And yes, the sword does come out um, very, very well, very, very well made. I do like this, this hard farm plastic, it's pretty nice. Show accurate, of course, to the T of the actual trunk sword that was in the series, just like the uh, sheath that it goes in as well. You just stick it in like so, and it goes back down and stays in pretty cool, it doesn't come out. So I like that. So this is actually pretty cool. I actually do like this. Then of course you got the hands, as you can see. These are the hands he did when he did that blast on Frieza when he chopped them up like he was Juliana, some lettuce and stuff. Then of course you got the, hey Frieza! He did that move and shot that big blast and he jumped in the air and that's when he chopped them up. Then of course you got like fighting posing hands here which is pretty cool. And all these hands are actually really, really nice. And I love the articulation of them. I love the way they, you know, it makes the character like come to life. And I do like that about the hands. And I think these are the hands they hold the sword in. This is one pair. You can see there's more clothes. And then these are a little more bulkier. This is another pair. They're like fully closed. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I'm getting a better view. Uh, but I don't know which one I'm going to use. But uh look like this one may be the one I use because the hole is a little bit bigger than this one. But I don't know. So, you guys can see these are all the hands. These are all the trunks accessories. Let me stand that up while I'm looking all crooked. So, I can't wait to put this thing on him and change all the hands and everything here. But enough about all this, y'all. We're about to get ready to take a look at that man himself, that bad boy Trunks. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, you can see I have Trunks on the turntable. And I must say, he looks so nice. So, so nice. Shout out to SH Figures, man. They do a great job with certain characters. Dragon Ball is one of them. I also have an Ichigo Bleach. If you have not seen that video for that figure, I'll please check him out. But this Trunks figure is amazing. So I'll take it off the turntable and bring it a little bit closer. You guys can tell, man, he looks just like Trunks. This is crazy. So I love the articulation. Good uh, poses. Got the double joint here. I do like that. These do move around. The coat is a little, I can bend it a little bit, which makes it cool. I can't take it off, uh, but it looks good. Good leg, good, good, good leg extension here. Good bend in the knee here. He like, yeah, throwing the kick. And if you really want to get animated, his toes bend. 
goes up and stuff like that. So that looks pretty good. I do like that. Same thing with this one, man. Good bend, good articulation with the leg. Turn to the back, this is pretty cool. But what I want to do is actually take this head off and pop, pop the other one on so you can see what it looks like with a standard form. So thought that would be pretty cool. So let me uh pop this thing on real quick. So there you go. So this is trunks with the regular head. So I must say I am, this thing is really nice. I'm definitely, definitely impressed by this SHA figure art. Definitely impressed. So, yep, that's what it looks like without the head. But of course I gotta put the Super Saiyan head back on real quick. Cause you know, I'm, I'm biased. I like the Super Saiyan forms, I always did. So I'm a little biased. So, ouch. So also be careful when you're putting this head on cause the hair is pointy. So just be careful. Cause it does hurt <laughs> if you push down too hard these are a little spiky so it does hurt um so if you take this off and then we put the other one on like so this one see see this one's a little bit different than the other one so i don't know i kind of i don't know what you guys think leave a comment let me know which one like which hair piece you like kind of like this one a little bit i'm not even gonna lie to you this one's pretty nice this one is pretty nice. Uh, I am gonna do different face expressions later on in the video. What I'm gonna to try to do right now is real quick, um, I'm gonna to try to put it on off camera um, so you can see what it looks like. But I'm gonna kind of send him here for a minute because uh, I'm gonna to try to get this sword on him so you guys can see what it looks like with the sword. So I know he's out of frame and I'm sorry about that. I will take care of that in a minute. Um, but I'm gonna to try to put this on him while I'm talking to you guys. So let's see if I can get this to work properly because I had an issue with it yesterday when I was trying it so of course you just come around and you're just trying to connect it the best way you can uh, and hopefully it stays so let's see can I get it on the first try I got it on the first try so there you go bang trunks with the sword so you can see it straps around to the side uh I'm gonna try to do this without well you know what? i ain't gonna worry about it. there we go i got it so it's around to the side so this is definitely trunks let me see if i can get this arm to come up and i wonder if i can yep so actually i can do a pose like that when he's pulling the sword out so that's pretty cool that's just a little a little spoiler i'm giving you all because i am gonna make that pose when i do this <laughs> so but yeah the sword does i like this that it stays on um pretty well so let me put him back on the turntable real quick after i get him to stand up by itself, you can see bang, bang. Oh, hold on, I wanna do a comparison video. Hold on one second, hold on one second. I know you'll hear noise in the background, that's me opening up another SH figure art. If you guys have been following me for a while, you kinda know which ones I have. So you know I might open up one of the three, cause of course I, oh, I just spoiled it, I actually have four. I'm not telling you what the other one I got, got in, but you guys stay tuned for that review, because it'll be coming soon, so. Of course, I got, bam, Goku Black. So, as you stand them side by side, they look, man, they just look so nice. So, uh, everything about them, they just built. They just built really, really nice. So, it's Goku Black. This is who Trunks was going at. You know what I'm saying? During that city, during the Dragon Ball Super Saga, when Goku Black was the villain. And, you know, he was tearing that thing up and he had to get Super Trunks. So, yeah. He didn't look like this, of course, but he did have a sword. But yeah, so height wise, uh, Goku was always taller, but not by much. But like I said, these things are really nice. Enough about Goku Black, get out of here. All right, so let's put Trunks back on the turntable real quick. Uh, get him to stand. And then we're gonna do some B-roll footage, man. And then we're gonna get it popping. Yep, and he stood up, thank God. Okay. So my rating for Trunks is a 10. Everything about this extra figure out is cold. And the fact that the sword actually gold straps on like he does in anime series is pretty cool man so thank you guys so much for watching this review um shout out thank you so much for supporting me please like comment and subscribe i really appreciate it shout out to my two inspirations talk guy carl views mr organic i'm in the hell cat life with Corey. cj32 started to read sword about two times that's a shout out to my sponsor while honey clothing man please check out that website it's coming soon you guys i got it almost up ready to go if you guys wanted to get some of that merch that i did in the beginning part of the video Please hit me with an email, leave me a comment, let me know. If my website's not up, we can work out something, I can get you the shirts or the hoodies. We also got hats, um, we got uh, jackets coming, everything else. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. 
Um, once again, thank you to Back Body Mystery. Please check out his latest video, man, that two-part video he did about uh, Kane. Uh, it's pretty dope. I watched it myself like 10 times, and I thought it was off the chain. Other than that, man, that's all I got, you guys. Y'all know my slogan. It go a little something like this. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. To the next thing, you guys, I am out. Watch this B-roll footage. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take a new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half nuts You are not as tough as <laughs> I don't slack, don't lose when you're left